Well, here I am at the Delta Ridge RV Park in Forest City, Arkansas, Arkansas. I've got a little video to follow this intro to show you how cute this park is. It really is basic, but it really is cute and well laid out and neat and clean and uh, just a perfect place for an overnight. It's about 15 years old, old enough to have some trees, young enough to still look neat and clean and uncluttered. So I'll put the video after this. Um, we, uh, this is my uh, second day after having left Greg. I did um, 247 miles the first day, uh, 387 miles today, and I didn't try. I, I left early because I woke up early, but I got here about 3.30 or 4 o'clock in the afternoon. So it was a really um, quite a good day. Uh, I'm going to try to make 300 and some odd miles tomorrow, 300 and some odd miles Wednesday. That should put me into Buda, Texas in the evening. And on the next day, Thursday, the uh, 5th of September, I will meet, uh, see my friend Roger and Roberta, my friends Roger and Roberta, uh, who I haven't seen uh, since last year when uh, Sean and I came through here. My lady friend and I came through and said hi to them. Uh, I think it was last year, if not, it was year before. Year before, it was a year before, my goodness. I think. I can't remember. Isn't it weird? Anyway, so we, I look forward to seeing them in the next uh, few days. Uh, I have whole, so many videos to try to process that I'm sort of going to give up. And I just might stick a whole bunch of cross, stick a whole bunch of videos together and just run them and you can see the snippets here and there and um, it takes too long it takes me about two hours in the evening to put together a video and, and publish it upload it uh, so I might just take a whole bunch of videos string them together and you can see uh, some of the things we did uh, while at uh, Greg's house um, by the way, I don't know if I've told you, but the generator is working perfectly. It turned out to be the fuel filter going to the generator was the problem. It was uh, leaking, and when it would be working, it would be sucking air through that leak, and it would cut off the generator. Uh, Greg, Greg and I found that. Greg and I were working on it, and the, the thing is, well, each, each time I'd buy a new pump, I'd get a new filter, but the filter was the wrong size for the hose, so I'd use the old filter with the new pump because it fit the uh, fuel hose. Um, we finally just changed out the fuel hose for a larger size, allowing us to use one of the new filters, and the generator is running just wonderful all day yesterday, all day today. So that problem has been solved. So I'm going to just uh, go ahead and string some videos together, and um, I may even be, may even just do more than one posting today just uh, for the convenience of me. Here we go. Well, I'm in Forest River, Arkansas. This is a very cute, pretty little, well laid out, clean RV park. It's just adorable. Everything about it is nice. He's, the guy says it's about 15 years old, which gives, gives you enough time to grow some trees. It's just about half a mile off the interstate, so you can hear the interstate. But everything is just clean as can be, and I'm very impressed with it. I would stay here again, definitely. I'd definitely give this guy four stars, just uh, because it's neat and clean and cute. Good morning, Kim. Really? My brother, Kim. His uh, work rig over there, and the 1994 Road King, and uh, we we did some work on it yesterday. We got that switched installed. We got the brakes working. Uh, it were it was a tough day. It was a long day because uh, it turned out that the problem was some old unused taillights that were tucked way inside behind the bags that had stopped working years ago. So we just left them because we had the others, and they slowly corroded and caused a drag on the brake system, the brake lighting system. So we cut those out of there, and the brakes are all back to work and just hunky-dory. Now, the one thing up here, the, the switch in the 
throttle, that was broken. That So it was the front brake switch was broken. So we changed that out. Kim had bought a spare. And um, so it's, it's working great. It's working great. This is one heck of a neat bike. I love this bike. I really do. So Kim's pulling out now, and I'm going to go back. We're going to have coffee with Greg and, and Sue. And then uh, as the fog lifts, I'm going to uh, dump the RV tanks, unhook, pull in, and pull out and head on back west. I probably won't leave here till 11 or 12 and try to make 100 miles or so. And then uh, stop. So that's where it is. This is a morning fog. Isn't that something? You can't see anything beyond the houses. And it's like this. It's just North Carolina morning fog. It lifts around nine o'clock or so, and then clears up completely shortly after that. You can't even see the houses. Isn't that something? All right, so getting ready to come home. And there he goes, Brother Frank, heading back to Phoenix. We've had a week of great riding, great camaraderie, Everything's been awesome. Brothers are amazing. I love my family. And I sure do love having them all up here in the mountains with us. Hasta la vista, Frank. Happy trails. This is the entrance to Bucky's. Two lanes all the way down to the light. Solid as a rock. It has to turn left and go up to Bucky's over there. There's the sign. Bucky's always open under here. I had to get off the interstate, make a left, come all the way down here about a quarter mile or so, and make a left to get into Bucky's. Okay, I gassed up and I'm heading out. I'm just going to go past these 120 gas pumps. Nice big Kingston. King Air diesel pusher. And look at all these gas pumps just full to the brim. People waiting to get into a spot. I had to find a spot that I could get into. Took it took me all the way down to the other end. You got this blocked off, fire me. That's interesting. I guess because of those pipes over there. Normally you can park an RV along the edge, as these people up here have, as the people I showed you before did. We're still heading out. Look at all these cars and all these gas pumps. In I a mean, quarter mile, turn right onto Gateway Boulevard. Who would have thunk it? That turn somebody... right, then turn left onto Buck East Boulevard. Who would have thunk it that you could build a gas station this big and it would be successful? Is this not nuts turn left onto Buck Ease Boulevard I'm going to go around try to find the exit exit of this place in 800 feet turn left onto Buck Ease Boulevard okay here we go yeah and this, uh, this is the exit there's Bucky's. I could go in there and get just about anything I want. I just don't feel like fighting the, the multitudes. It's not crowds because once you get in there, it's so big. It's not crowded and they got lots of cashiers. I mean, they do everything right. Anyway, I'm, I'm exiting now. Well, I'm at the something something Rustic River RV Park Resort which means it's more expensive. This is a back-end spot at 70 bucks for the night. It's got uh, power and electric, but uh, you know, it actually does have sewer, so it's got all three. So it's 70 bucks. And uh, I talked to the folks in there. They said they can squeeze me in. And it looks like it didn't take too much effort to squeeze me in. There's spots all the way around there and out during the distance. And right now we're walking the dog. Oh. And here we go, the Bamani Devils. Keep them going, boys. Safe ride.
YouTube this evening. Uh, we have a new rider with us today. Isn't that a gorgeous Hardly Ferguson? Yeah, Greetings, yeah. sir. My friend of my brother, Greg, you are? Kaya Tarhan. Say again. Kaya Tarhan. Tire. Kaya. Kaya. Ta oh, with a K. Yep. Kaya. <laughs> Hello there. Welcome very much. Kaya Kaya. That is gorgeous. Well, we're getting ready. We're heading out just <gasps> about 11 o'clock or so, and there's there be Guy Senior and uh, Scotty and Kim yeah. back there and Mark. Hello, Magic You're Mirror. Gonna love these roads, brother. Oh, I know. I've been to the field. Heading out. <laughs> Guy Jr. is the smart one over there laying down. Just saying, okay, I'd be cool. I'd be cool. Okay, this is for the video blog, but this is Frank working on a 1994 Harley Davidson that is absolutely getting giving us fits. Trying to work on a micro switch down in the uh, handlebars, which is activates the front brake light. And it's been shorted out, and it's shorted out several wires, and he's having a great time doing this. I'm just having a ball. Frank don't like working on no American shit. <laughs> he likes British stuff. Okay, I mean, here's the switch, the switch is still good. It just needs to be fitted down there. I'll let you do it this time. Okay. And I'll take a silly video. And here we are, an hour later. Still messing with the same exact switch housing and cluster. Have we have the new switch in place. Yes, yeah, so the new switch is actually in place. And we're gonna use the um, shrink, shrink, shrink solder connectors. Yeah, which are a beautiful thing wonderful thing if you can cut the wire with rub, um, dull ass cutters with 20 year old try my cutters frank they're only 19 years they're old. only 18 years old there okay so we got good good let's uh let's try the um we're going to use the torch on it because we don't have a heat gun well all right let me get the torch okay here's brother greg putting the same switch in place it has to go in, and then the little plunger has to go out of the little plunger hole. And that's where I was hung up. Flashlight? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Can you see the little plunger in the little I'm plunger looking, hole? I'm looking for the plunger in the little plunger hole. I actually had it in a position where the mounting screw was in the correct position, yeah, and the little plunger, the plunger hole wouldn't go. It's not even near it, is it? Mounting screw is way over there. Yeah. Hmm. This thing is bar. Interesting. See, there's the mounting hole down in there. Let's use that little Phillips to line up the mounting hole. Well, I got the mounting hole about as perfect as you can get right there. And as I am fond of seeing back in Phoenix at the shop, the fun just the never. Fun just, just never, never ends, ends. <laughs> it's, a, it's another five minute job all right oh my goodness all right i'm going to cut this off <laughs> 